Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Leveling. In this episode, we're gonna be doing uh, a bit of improvisation using spiral nodes, um, using Spiral add-on in Blender. So the final result should be something that looks like this. So there are a lot of possibilities when you have spiral nodes, and you can really just use a couple of simple nodes like offset line and an extrude region, and you can get a 3D model. So Let's get started from scratch. So let's save this as um, spiral improv. So you can really use this technique to create like a like a snail shell or like a the Nautilus uh, creature, um, or maybe even like a horn because they are all like just a spiral. And so you start with a spiral nodes, and here you see something like viewer draw to get these edges and you know that with the spiral it comes with um, this preset and you, you can just play around with it and have different spiral oh, this one is actually the one that's kind of like more like a nautilus or or a snail shell uh, for now we're just gonna use a simple one just this guy archimedian let's use just four turns and the idea is to just to use offset line so that we can turn edges into like a, something with a, like a polygon um, to make this better actually you might want to make to scale down the one that's in the middle or oh, actually the one that's gets smaller there but it's okay for now. Um, we can simply just uh, extrude it. Extrude. So extrude um, region. I think that should work. Give it faces, and it's gonna spit out something that you can extrude. Just like that. It's very very simple, and so you get this uh, nice result already. This is not exactly like um, snail shell, but it's a it's a good start, I guess. You can do it differently to get different results. Currently, it's more like a something that you can use to get rid of mosquitoes. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but if you give it like a green color, you might recognize it. Okay, so yeah, this is one type of. Uh, example but remember you can always experiment with the extrusion right and with the offset as well you, ha you can have a lot of different result very very easily oh look at this uh, spiral on sphere and the cool thing is that because offset line is actually working in 3d i believe uh, so this we can get something like this quite easily and you can probably just print it out um, so with this guy, you can also randomize the offset if you like. So randomize, random number generator, plug this into the offset. But uh, for what we are doing, random is probably not, not too cool. I mean, well, it gives some kind of interesting variations, but uh, you probably want to have like a range range float and based on the count of the total of the vertices from the spiral you can have this guy to kind of scale down scale up it's more like a nautilus actually this one so it should start really really small and it's kind of expanded for this um, maybe I should change the spiral okay this one is actually more like the Nautilus right so it should start like a, at zero and kind of grow to be more exact you can actually use a uh, functions the easing functions 
and this should give you more control over the scaling well that's the that's the idea anyway um, math okay we might need to use math here and multiply it it's not simple but the fact that we can do this really really easily is that it's quite amazing look at that you can even get this kind of design it's unusual very very unusual you have a lot to play with here circular is in this is almost like the nautilus almost because you can always you know extrude it and you bake it and then here you can use modifier you know like uh, edge split no decimate um, bevel bevel based on angle or only vertices well okay bevel doesn't work because maybe there's an extra vertices but kind of curious just um, subdivide it yeah this is not probably not what you want but uh yeah but remember you can also use polyline viewer right polyline viewer is much simpler from a spiral you can get um, curve and with the curve you can simply just plug in this guy to the radius and just hoping it's gonna generate <laughs> the nautilus the horn surprise it's much easier using curve actually but uh it's good to know that you you can really play around with uh, all this value right it's very interesting uh, so there you go that's a quick way uh, we can play around with spiral nodes uh, using spreadshock add-on in blender and just improve just play around with it until you get a like a nice 3d shape that you recognize in nature uh, there's a lot of nodes here already that you can use and just mix and match and you get you can get really interesting result so there you go hopefully you enjoy this and find this useful let me know what you think and i'll see you next time Thank you. Bye.